Hey everybody, all of my good friends from Kansas, how are you? Well, it's week four. Can you believe that it's week four? I can't believe it's week four. It's week four! We've come to the end of our time together. Unbelievable. Now, a couple of things. I posted a couple of new things on the website. One revolving around time. Maximizing the utilization of your time. There's about a 30 minute teaching video. And then we're going to supplement that over the next couple of days with some follow-up videos that you might want to spread out over the next month and come back and visit the next month. But we'll post them all up there at once. Time. It's a perishable commodity, and it's the one thing that winners and losers have in common. And you know, and I know, there's not enough time, energy, or effort at our disposal to get done everything we need to get done. So we better have a great system to maximize the utilization of our time. It was Archimedes that said it best, give me a place to stand and I will move the world. But what was he talking about? Some nebulous concept that a human being is like Superman? No, he was talking about his fulcrum and lever. And what he was really saying is, if you give me the right tool, if I develop my own tool, the right system, I can do just about anything. He proved that again with the compound pulley. And he was able to do through that compound pulley the work of 10 men. A great system to maximize the utilization of that perishable commodity called time is the same. It's a force multiplier. We all need that today. We've come to the end, right? The end of our month. I am only one, but I am one. I can't do everything, but I can do something. That which I can do, I ought to do. And that which I ought to do, by God's grace, I will do. You're a rare and unique creature with incredible talent and ability. 70 billion people have lived on this planet. There's nobody like you. You have a choice. You have a choice. Can't do everything, but you can do something. You have a choice. And you have a responsibility to take the talent, ability, insight, wisdom, knowledge, and network you have and act on your responsibility and go and do something great with it for the betterment of yourself, your family, and your community. So let's commit ourselves to that. That's what that poem was saying. The power and the potential of recreation in parks. The power we talked about. The potential will only be realized if you'll take some of the information from this month and go and act on it. But there is a challenge. There was an old Italian philosopher that said, there's nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to attempt, and more uncertain in its success than to take the lead in the introduction of a new order of things. A number of years ago, my wife and I founded Nevada's first charter school. Now set aside your opinion of charter schools or this or that. We started it not because we were big fans of charter schools, but because there was no alternative school in Reno, Nevada at the time. But we were treading new water. We were doing something that had not been done before. And there was a lot of people that weren't excited about that. One was a Nevada state senator. That Nevada state senator actually said in the newspaper that I was not educated enough to be a school board president or be a steward of the public's resources as a school board president. Not educated enough. You know what, my little girl at the time, her name was Cassandra, is Cassandra. She was little at the time and that impacted her and it impacted others. It impacted me, it hurt me deeply. But then I went back to that poem, nothing more difficult to take in hand, more perilous to attempt and more uncertain in its success than to take the lead in the introduction of a new order of things. If we try to do something new, we can almost guarantee that a world that is reluctant to change will come at us with a full force. That's the challenge with being an agent of hope and an agent of change, is that all of the powers that be, both visible and invisible, will do all that they can to prevent. Not necessarily because they're bad people, but because they don't want to change. So just be mindful of that. It won't be an easy road as you try to bring hope to your community. It won't be an easy road as you try to do things that haven't been done before. It will take a toll on you, your family. It'll take on a toll around those supporters around you. But the one thing you can hold true in your heart is that you're trying to do something to lighten the burden of your fellow man. And there can't be anything more noble or honorable than that. I thank you for your service. I thank you for all that you do. If we can ever be of assistance to you, you just let us know. Take care, Kansas. It's been fun. Bye-bye.